<laughs> welcome. Welcome to the Stupid Scoop Show. <laughs> and we're not going to a funeral. I don't even know what number we're on. <laughs> One sixty-five. I think it's one sixty-five. We're old, <laughs> but not really. Yeah, no, no, not, not old at all. Not old, you know. It's, what's in the heart? <laughs> we got a lot of love and good stuff here today. A lot. Want some Christmas ideas for yeah. your Christmas crafting? We have them for you today. Yes, because you know you want to get started early. Because you never want to wait to the last minute. Because nope. we do it every year. We always say, not going to do that this year. But this year, we're going to inspire you early in the hopes that <laughs> we're going to try. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, welcome oh, aboard to everybody. Yay, oh, yeah. We are live. We're uh, broadcasting live on uh, Facebook and YouTube and Twitter on Stamp with Tammy and Crafty Stampin' on Linda's, Linda's channel. We should introduce ourselves. <laughs> we did because someone was like yeah. thankful that was like, yeah. oh, you didn't know who we were? Ooh, right. Sorry. Because we do get newbies on there. And, That's and true. We, and we love them and we appreciate you. My name is Tammy White. I'm from uh, stampwithtammy.com. And Linda. I'm Linda Cullen. I am from CraftyStampin.com, and we are both Stampin' Up! demonstrators for a long time. A long time. <laughs> I just celebrated 20 years. Oh, God. Yeah, I do. I'm like I do. 13, <laughs> something like that. It's a long time. <laughs> and we welcome you to our video. We have part class, part inspiration, part and jokes and yeah. fun and singing <laughs> and all whatever. About the fun. It's all this about is the, the Stampin' fun. Scoop Show, and we've been doing this. Six years? Yeah, Five six years? Is, yeah. Long time. Long time. <laughs> Love you, long time. <laughs> so, whenever we have a free Yay! scoop and class, we always have a giveaway. So, this one's kind of cool because it goes right with our holiday theme. These and are so fun. Right? And they even have there was little words on the inside, too, that you can't <clears throat> see there. It says... Uh, I forget. Share what you love or something. It was super cute, you know, on the bottom. So when you finish your coffee, you can look at it. <laughs> and who doesn't want a coffee or a hot chocolate, and, you know, your, your, your cute little Stampin' Up! Right? mug. Right. I like the one with the, the Christmas lights all over it, but the fa-la-la is adorable, too. And we're going to be working with Christmas lights today. Or at least we're going to be inspiring you with Christmas lights today. So all you need to do to enter is drop a comment here on this video. And uh, if you share the video onto a social media platform like Facebook or uh, Pinterest and type the word shared into the comments of the original video, you will be entered a second time. A second time. And we do this with every live video, which means we got a winner for the last one. And that is Victoria Renner. Congratulations to Victoria. She won the Christmas Everywhere kit. And um, she, all you need to do, uh, Victoria, is fill out our um, prize claim form. And uh, you will find that at either of our websites. And you'll find the information on everything we're sharing right now on uh, by clicking on the link in the video's description or going directly to our web pages, which you will find <coughs> on just about uh, every, every slide that we share here. So moving into some info, speaking of our blog, blog addresses are there, so you can find us easily. I'll let Linda take this one away okay. if, she's, if she's recovered. <clears throat> I'm like, <laughs> of course, as soon as she hits me, go live. I have a coughing fit. Okay. Paper Pumpkin. Oh. It is our monthly subscription kit. The next one that we are currently subscribing for is called Home for the Holidays. This looks like the most adorable kit. It really does. <clears throat> you can subscribe in two different ways. You can subscribe continually, where it just shows up every month, or you can get a prepaid. And if you join with either Tammy or myself, you become part of the PPX crew and we send you six special, unique uh, videos to just you and our teams uh, of the PPX crew. Sorry, I'm, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. <laughs> She's dying over here. I'm coming back. You want to be part of the PPX crew and you want to get this kit. This looks like the most adorable Christmas kit. I can't wait for this one. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. I am too. And we had our um, blog hop this morning. Yes. If you are a paper pumpkin lover, uh, we had a blog hop this morning with uh, the, uh, some of our PPX crew and some other paper pumpkin uh, friends where yep. we all get together and create projects from, from last month's kit. So we have a ton of stuff <clears throat> there uh, this morning from the September kit. So yes, which is beautiful. Yeah, so definitely want to check that out. That's the With Love and Gratitude kit. And if you love everything you see here today, we have to tell you about this. This is the best deal. It's amazing. And you have options. So 
You can either, uh, with the demonstrator kit, you get 35% off, which, holy crap. I that can't is even, great. I can't even. That, that might, like, it's already an amazing deal. And right. I can't even believe they're doing that. And, um, or you can get 35% more in your kit. So this, the demonstrator kit is $99. Right. In, on a normal day without the 35% off. And you get to pick $125 worth of stuff. So getting 35% off or 35% more is pretty That's phenomenal. a damn good deal. And you can get the pre-order stuff that we've been sharing. Um, I don't know if we have any here today, but you can get that in your demonstrator. You can get anything in a demonstrator kit that's in the online store. And you can get the pre-order stuff before it sells out. <laughs> I can't I yes. can't stress that enough because things have been flying off the shelves lately. So popular. And we love that. I mean we love that our that our products are amazing and we love that you love the products too. But man, it's like I, t I keep telling people it's like when they predict a blizzard like all I of know. a sudden like things are flying off the shelves and no we more can't bread. hold it down. So anyways, if you join to be a demonstrator, you get it first. You don't have to worry about waiting in line for stuff. And one more uh, thing, if you have not registered for this yet, it's World Card Making Days tomorrow. Oh my God, it's tomorrow? It's tomorrow, and Stampin' Up! has got a big event, and uh, you you don't have to register for it, but you should just because they'll send you the information, and it just makes it easy. They'll get sent you a reminder, and but you don't have to. You can you can just go to you know it's online. It's a, it's a it's a online event and uh they have their they have and i have it on my my blog and i think linda does too, do too the list of supplies of what they're using you can craft along with them you can use whatever you have on hand there's also a little sneak peek stamp set in here that you can get in the online store if you missed it it's called heartfelt hexagon it's not coming up till spring but it's kind of an early release and they really snuck it in there so we uh we love when they they get you know little little sneak peeks of things like that all right, so um, mm. while Linda's dying back Sorry. here, <laughs> I know, that happened to me the other day. I was on the phone all of a sudden. I had a coughing fit. So I'm going to take over for a few minutes, and um, we have a ton of stuff to share with you guys. Like, I have a, I have a basket, and I know Linda has stuff, and I think what I'll do first oh. is uh, some stamping. Oh, my God. You know what I forgot? I totally forgot my basket of stuff. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff to share with you guys, and we have a bunch of stuff. It has been on our a day. Blog. So we'll be sharing stuff um, in photos on our blogs, which you can get to by clicking on the link in the video's description. But I still have a bunch to share with she you. She does. So I had. So I am going to start with my um, my my little mini class today, and then Linda's got one for you. But while she's uh, recovering from her coffee fit, I don't know what happened. I'll go first. <clears throat> so what I, I do want to share here is that both Linda's project and my project. On both of our blogs, it's printed right there, stampwithtammy.com or craftystampa.com, or click the link in the video's description and go right to it. Um, then you will uh, get be able to download both of the PDFs for both of the projects that we're making. And for mine, um, I have a little template for you. It's on the, my project for um, either one of us on our blogs has it. I'm using a Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper, and I'm actually going to kind of do a little cheat on here with my little template. This is a, the quickest, easiest gift card holder you'll you'll find. And you know, when it comes to the holidays, right, we want quick and easy. So you're getting a lot of sympathy with the, the coughing fit. I know. And I see, <laughs> uh, thank goodness, Nancy's like, I'll go grab the, your stuff and bring it over. <laughs> I would call my husband and tell him to do it, but I don't think <clears throat> we'd be sitting here waiting like, Doo -doo -doo -doo. oh yeah. I Nancy, think rock on, time. sister. I know. She can do it. We can make it, we can make it work. <clears throat> So, all right, Nancy, go to my house. Yeah, I will call husband right now. <laughs> and we'll put you right on the show. She's the savior, yeah. savior of the day. So in the meantime, I'm going to start working on my project. This is a nine and a half by four inch piece of, it's a walk in the forest designer series paper. I use this a lot. So um, I think it's really cool paper. I'll share the paper with you after. So I'm going to take this, I've pre-cut it, nine and a half by four, and I'm going to score it, and you're going to have to excuse me while I put my little cheaters on here, at uh, one and an eighth, four inches, and six and three quarters. And that's going to give us like a little fold, right? So it looks like this. And then I'm going to take my ruler and a pen or a pencil or whatever. I'm going to measure up on this right-hand side. Oops, sorry, I'm off camera. I want you to be able to see this. 
one inch up. So one inch up from the bottom, I just marked it, and I'm gonna put that little tick mark right on my paper trimmer. Right, can you guys see that okay? I'm gonna put that right on the paper trimmer, and I'm going to this score line right here. So this is the right-hand side, and then, oops, sorry. I'm gonna slice that, not score it. So it looks like this. And then, take your adhesive, and you can use Seal Plus. I'm just for, uh, just for, because it's, it's here and I'm being lazy, I'm gonna take some Seal Adhesive, and I'm gonna make a little pocket there, and that is literally the quickest, easiest gift card holder you have. Your little gift card goes right in here, and then if you want, you can um, do some edgelets on there. So you can either open it like this, or you can open it, it can go portrait or landscape. This one's gonna go portrait because it's got the trees going this way, so I'll put it this way. And I have some me to share with you guys. Don't forget that I do have a little template that <coughs> shares where to cut that. I also, and I forgot to put this on my um, supply list, um, I used a little Velcro pieces. In fact, I actually Oh, had, that's a cute idea. I actually had big Velcro pieces, so I cut them in half. <laughs> because they were a little too big for my project, but I wanted it to stay closed. So this one, I've put a little uh, piece of white inside that you can sign. You put your little gift card, whoops, I didn't put adhesive on the bottom. <laughs> put your little gift card in there, and I used the basic border die to cut that. And here we've got, I used the um, Above It All. So I have a whole series of Above It All kicking off today. So <laughs> you're going to get to see some of it. Some of what's coming on my She's blog. made the cutest things with oh this. Oh my gosh, you're going to, I'm telling you, just one of them you are just absolutely going to flip out over. And so I'm still flipping out over it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe I came up with that. But but I digress. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> but the, we'll come back to that. So this is another one I used. There's the the little uh, gondola on the front. I have the um, all the supplies I used. So it's got quick and easy in there. And the last <coughs> one, this one, I used the same designer series paper. This is actually the same pattern. But I took these bears are from the um, Berry Christmas Memories and More kit. There's like a whole little bunch of stickers and, and die cuts in there, and they were so stinking cute, so I used those. And so right on the inside there, and you've got your little gift card holder, and then you can put a belly band around it if you didn't have Velcro too. So there you go, quick, the quickest, easiest gift card holders, and you know you're gonna need those, right? You know you're gonna need them, even if it's just for birthdays, for the holidays, everybody, you know, that everybody loves a gift card because, you know, to their favorite place and you want to make it special. <coughs> so there you go. There's my, my project. <coughs> I may have to have <laughs> Tammy. All right, I'll talk what, through mine. While, while Linda is still, it's, I'm just, while Linda's like, still <coughs> recouping right there, I'm going to share, I'll start sharing some of my Above It All series <laughs> and then we'll, We'll do her card we'll when, figure she out her, mine. when she gets her voice back. So the first thing oh I'm going to share here, this is a shadow box. This is adorable. And I use that a walk in, in fact, I'll show you the paper after. So the background and the bears are from the designer series paper. It's a walk in the forest. And that's also their um, crafting with a cause paper. So when you purchase it, um, I think it's $3. I forget, 2 or $3. I is, think it's $3. It's donated. I, have, I use the um, lights from the Mary Gold and Bright on the front there with some foil. So, um, let's see, that is the um, Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. And then the gondolas come from the um, Above It All stamp set and bundle. It's a bundle. So there's dies that go with that too. And I actually have that here to share with you guys because I have a whole series of this to share. So, oops, sorry can see all of that anyways I had pre-cut this so I, I saved it but you can cut these little snow snowy edges and then it even embosses them and and this I mean it's super cute these gondolas are super cute but I went outside the box a little bit with the gondolas I don't know if I should break this out now or save it for later I feel like I should save it for later <laughs> let's save it all right <clears throat> Put a pin in that because I'm going to come back to it all right but I am going to share the, the walk on the forest designer series paper it's so cute so this paper, you know, you've seen it on the on the gift cards that I just shared, the gift card holders. So you've got the stripes that can be used pretty much for anything. 
And then you've got different winter scenes, um, patterns on one side. We've got snowflakes, and then there's the bears. The bears. These bears, the, some of the bears that are facing the right direction, the bear punch fits the, when they're the right size. And then we've got some more stripes. And then we've got some, some like, holiday. That's so pretty. Like, holiday <clears throat> seasonal stuff. No, this could be used for anything. That doesn't even need to be a holiday theme. And this one is a different berry theme. So this, I feel like this goes with several different. It's not just Christmas. Like it could go with anything, really. <clears throat> but it also matches that uh, very Christmas sweet. So that is the above it all paper. <clears throat> and then I'm going to turn it over to Linda now. If she, can, <laughs> if she can breathe. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry, that was the walk on the forest. <clears throat> not the above it all bundle. The walk on the forest paper. All right. All right. So we're going to make a card with the <clears throat> Satan egg. And there's the St. Nick bundle, which is these two items. So it's the stamp set and the die. <clears throat> and the die cuts out the Santas or the St. Nicks. It makes a chimney. It's got some really cute elements. <clears throat> but also, there was a special paper. They were going to do a celebration like we had done last year in the middle of um, <clears throat> with when they launched this catalog. But they listened to some demonstrators. They thought it was too much, but they'd already put the order in for paper because it's such a long uh, <clears throat> lead time. There we go. Um, so there is paper that is now in the online exclusives, and so just and it matches the bottom. and it matches this. And we've got these great Santas, I love and you it. can cut them out with the dies. And then there's some adorable <clears throat> cups and mugs and cookies. And it's just really, really pretty paper. I'm just gonna, um, uh, Rebecca is wondering when the, the gondolas, you can get them right now. Everything we're sharing yep. today is, is available now. Yep. So these are the papers. I know we, <clears throat> you did a whole show on them, didn't you? All the, yeah, all I, did a, I did yeah. a quick video yeah. and a pop up. And so pop ups with them. So I am using. Is, I love. I love the the Saint Nick. The whole yeah. Saint Nick. Oh, so I should have put up there. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a sweet, but not a sweet because it didn't get its own full sweet sort of thing. <clears throat> All right. So first thing we're gonna do. Also, we played last time with some the mask. The mask. So we played with the oh, abundant mask. beauty mask. And that's in the mini catalog, the September to December mini catalog. We have two other mass groupings that can be found in the annual catalog. One is called Foursquare, one is called Artistic Mass. And these have some great images. I'm gonna use, this is what the one we're gonna use looks like. And I thought it kind of went it's pretty. <clears throat> with the whole Santa theme. So. A little vintagey. Well, yeah. So, <clears throat> what I've done is you want to take a piece of scrap paper, and I taped it to the top of the scrap paper so it kind of lifts up like this. And then I can put my card or my cardstock, whatever I'm using, under. Oh. Um, oh. Kind of makes it a little easier to work oh, with. She's wicked smart. <clears throat> wicked smart. So before I do that, though. Because we're going to do some embossing. I brought my embossing buddies, which are now in the additions tool. Additions kit. tool kit. I, I always can't remember the name. Like it's the addition. Yeah, tool. and Anyways, it's yeah. got this, a brush. This guy's word is waiting. And it's got um, the pan and all the all the extra goodies that go. So I just put that all over the paper. <clears throat> we're going to close it up. I've got got all this stuff over here. Which is why I forgot my thing. I was like, oh, my basket's full. <laughs> <sighs> First mark. And I'm going to use one of my blending brushes. So I put a V on the back. So I know even because it's clear that it is the Versamark one. Because the rest of them I can look at and go, well, that's yellow. And I'm going to treat this like I would treat any others. But I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I kind of want to give it a distressed look. So I'm going to put it. I never thought to use Versamark with a blending brush. And I know it's mostly on the edges is kind of where it's going to be seen because of my design. So I'm just going to do it a few spots. <clears throat> and then, open it up. I have 
my embossing powders in little tins. <coughs> So let's see how we do here. And of course I've done it. It's getting a lot more because I I haven't cleaned this off. So every time I do it, it's a brush is stickier and stickier. But I love it. This is a really cool technique. I would have never thought to do. Because I just want to get rid of more of it. Now I put it all over Tammy's craft room that's all right. glitter that's, and embossing powder goes really everywhere <clears throat> all right. so now we're going to heat emboss this yeah. <clears throat> yes, also the taping the stencil down the way i did it helps to keep the stencil from moving around when you are doing it because I'm trying to I know it's so hard when I'm on camera to heat and boss because I can't like can't either the camera it. can see it or I can see it but right. I feel like we both, both can't see work. it at the same time Cameron yeah, of course my glasses don't help either they're my reading glasses, so I can see the camera and the monitor. I can't see the desk in front of me real well. It's hard getting old. And you could do this with just ink if you want to. You don't have to uh, <clears throat> do it with embossing, but I thought the gold just looked really cool with it. Such a cool technique. Taking Bye. longer than I thought. All right, good enough. So you see, you kind of get the distressed look with it. So <clears throat> I used, let's see if I can find it. I always love embossing. It's just so yeah. cool. There's a little piece there that needs some more. Oh, she's yep. working. Go I'm for gonna, it. She's working. I'm going to keep going okay. here with the, yeah. can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> So I have Mossy Meadow, and this is the piece of DSP. I'm gonna reach over her and get seal. Ah. <clears throat> All right. So I'm also gonna do is I want to put a ribbon through. So this is our very best trio die. It's a punch. It's got three shapes on it. This one over here is a ribbon hole punch. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in here. What I want you to see is I'm going to line Down the end of this up oh, I see. with the end of the punch, okay? So I'll put it here so you can see what I want you to notice where I'm putting it. I'm putting it here. Can you hold that right there? There we go. It's nice to have an extra set of hands. It right? is. Now I want to do is I'm going to flip it over ah. and I will try to line it up in the exact same spot so, so the they're same. equal gotcha. across. Yeah. There we go. All right. So before I attach anything, I'm going to use the large check ribbon. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I, it, though it does seem like a lot of you have a similar issue. It's like every once in a while, it's like, oh, hey, I'm going to get a tickle on my vocal cords right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. And this is here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So do we have scissors? I do. Okay. So I'm going to cut that there. Do you and guys love this vanilla? <clears throat> it's gorgeous. I love check anyway. So now I have white in the smaller one in the annual catalog and we got vanilla in here. So this is the Baker's Twine Essentials. This one is the very vanilla. It doesn't come in this thing. I put it on here. Let's cut off a bunch. 
And instead of trying to tie this in a bow or whatever, I'm just going I love to this. tie this. I also love that you're using the vanilla twine because I feel like that's my least loved color of twine in the Baker Twine Essentials Pack. But it like, goes with this one. Right? Yep. There's black and there's there's yep. like a, a crumb cake and then yep. there's a, there's white and I feel like the, the vanilla just doesn't get the love the other colors get. Yep. So. <clears throat> there we go. So tie a nice little tight knot here. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to tie that. And I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to tie that in a bow either. So we'll just trim those. And when we're done, we'll, we'll trim that up a little bit more. Okay. So here's our card base. I'm going to take a couple. Do you have dimensionals? I got everything. Oh, I my God. All. I got it all. <laughs> here we go. All right. So we're going to take some dimensionals on the back of here. I wonder if Nancy's found my cards in my house. <laughs> we'll see if she makes it. We'll see if she makes it from the end of the episode. I got message failed, so my husband has no idea what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the right-hand side of the card, and I'm going to take my Santa, my Saint Nick, that we die cut out of the paper. We're going to give him him a couple uh, dimensionals as well. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. And we're just going to stick him over on top of this so he stands out. All right, now this is... Oh, okay, I'm waiting to see like, what <laughs> is this person supposed to be looking for, Linda? All right, so I got Mossy Meadow, and this is the greeting. A uh, simple letter sent to say, thinking of you this Christmas day. <clears throat> Let me make sure I get it right side up. Or... And I gave myself three, three attempts. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to stamp it in the middle. I want to stamp it slightly to the right. Yeah, let's, let's try one more. Okay. I don't want I love that she cut extra circles. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh well. You know, I don't want to stamp on her paper. when you're stamping live. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. I got, and I'll show you why I want it a little to the to the left of the circle. <clears throat> so now I've got a silk on that here. Oh, okay. I've been I've been hiding She's it. Hiding it. Mm -hmm. Keeping it from me. Keeping it under lock and key. <laughs> I'm going to, so I put a little seal on it here. I could have put it on the back, but I'm putting it here. I'm going to slide it under here. Oh, I love it. There we go. I love it. There we go. So, but of course, we're not done. We're not done. It's super oh, no. cute, but we're not done. Okay. I mean, it's never done without the bling. Yeah, we need the bling. And so for the bling, we're going to use um, Blooming Pearls. And Blooming Pearls says that... <clears throat> This is garden green. And while, yeah, I'm sure it is garden green, it looks damn good next to yeah. Mossy Meadow. I mean, I think the iridescent coating on yeah. it makes it kind of go with a lot so, of colors. Do you have a pokey tool? I do. Of some sort? I do. I am going to put got it all. Um, several. Take your pick. <laughs> tool. I'm going to put a couple of, of the, what we are calling, uh, garden green but looks like mossy meadow on the crumb cake portion of our program and then i'm going to put a couple of the gold on the mossy meadow so it's got lots of lots of fun bling so there's my kind of little love fun it. with a couple little tips and tricks love it card and i also made in a similar fashion a tag with um, oh. elements from the same. Um, Tags are hot right now because, you know, holidays are Yeah. Coming. And so the tag shape itself came from the trees. Mary trees. Mary, Mary's trees. Mary's trees. And, um, but everything else, and I, I colored that with uh, watercolor pencils. 
Um, but otherwise, everything is from the Saint nice job with Nicholas. Pencils. Yeah. <clears throat> I tend to gravitate toward the blends, and I, I never think to break out the pencils. Yeah, some things I don't want as deep and bright colors that come with the uh, the blends. And this I thought this was a perfect to look a little older. You wanted the... Yeah, so I'm going to clean up. We'll see how so, Nancy's doing. Well, um, and while she's doing the cleaning and while Nancy's hope, we well, hope so on the way. she's found Linda's cards and is on her way, you know, we're going to have a special <laughs> guest appearance. I'm going to share because Linda just used the um, St. Nicholas stamp set in the... Um, I forget the traditions of Saint Tra Nick traditions. is the designer series yep. paper that she shared a little while ago. So this is a slimline card that I put together. I, the part that I especially love, I mean, the, the Santa is fabulous, right? But the chimney. In the, 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 the chimney is adorable. Right? How adorable is that, right? It's snow. It's snow. Mm hmm It's snow. Where's snow? <gasps> That's snow. Yep. Did you guys wonder what that was too? Here we go. That's snow. Mm hmm That's it. Snow I did not chimney. get that. Or for, you know, your scene or whatever else. Yep. Oh. Because there's a fireplace. The, the scoring dimensions for the gift card are on the free PDF that's on the blog. Click the link in the yeah. video's description or just go right to my blog and you can get it there. I have scoring. I have cutting. I have it all for you there. I thought for sure. Sure. I knew what everything was. So yeah, there you go. And then the the um, the valves are from the Joy of Noel. So that is a little bit more with the Saint Nicholas because I just love 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 him. And I'm gonna keep rolling here. Okay, so we're ha we have a holiday issue. So I, I've already started, and if you guys um, have been following my classes, if you've seen these, um, I've already started with the holiday. Nancy. I've I'm like, I'm hearing the, stuff the upstairs. Holiday. All right, I'm going to send Linda up. Okay, and I'll, I'll, st I'll keep thinking. So for those of you who are tuning in late, Linda forgot her um, her samples to share, her swap cards to share. So Nancy Dodge, who lives in the same town as Linda, went to our house and picked them up and brought them over while we are live. So she's going to make a special guest appearance. So uh, these I made with the Tricks and Treats dies. I did a whole series on the Tricks and Treat dies. And this box die is phenomenal, right? So in addition to the dies, I used the Sending Cheer um, bundle for the Gingerbread Man and for the, for the little uh, stocking on there. And the paper is the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green foil. All right, so we're gonna meet the lifesaver. Here she goes. <laughs> Told you we're bringing her on the alive. She saved the day. She ran all the way to Linda's house and came all the way over. Have a seat, Nancy. <laughs> you get the seat of honor. Meet Nancy Dodge. <laughs> You've seen her work. You know she's a. You know she's super talented, <laughs> and she saved the Stamp and Scoop show today. All right, you can sit. <laughs> Join the show! Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad to help. I we looked all, at all the samples and I, I said, wasn't oh, no sure if it would. You've had time, but yeah, also. I know, that was And of course, quick. my husband. That was quick, right? We're only like. Did you find it in my craft room or did he find it in my craft room? Well, we went looking. He says, I don't know what I'm looking for. And then he looked at his phone and he said, He oh, believed they did all the well, that. And that coming. And that period of time. <laughs> Come stand over here. Come here. You're in, you're now officially part so of this. I'm gonna keep rolling with my stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nancy's gonna wave in the background. <laughs> so we've got here. These are um. I, I just posted the tutorials for these. This Those are week. adorable. These are done with the sending cheer and the tricks or treats. So this was part of my tricks and treats uh, die bundle series. It was the jelly elf, Santa, and the snowman, and I paired it with the sending cheer. Dies for the elf hat oh. and the Santa hat, so they came from that that little thing. And then I I put uh, candy in it, and then I ate all the candy out of it. So I had to go to the store this morning and buy more candy so I could show reshow the, the the little boxes. But I have links to these two. Oh, these fell out. I'm gonna have to eat them. Would you like a lollipop, man? <laughs> my cards <laughs> all right we ready for some all right so we'll go through so first we're starting with these are the very cute cards 
that we have and they are cute so do we just want to do one at a time or should I because we kind of purposely I don't, do some of them have insides so I do those swaps that everybody has to do the inside so I don't know which ones have the inside so there's, there's okay but who doesn't love a cute little bear right look okay and I always I always love a good bun bowl yep especially with a cute little bear on it but Merry Christmas is right that, one, that one I've been using this week. That one with mine. This it's super duper cute. You can't go wrong with the bears. No, no. And this one uses that extra um, uh, frag fragrant forest. Uh, oh. That's a good mix. I never would have thought to mix those two together. Oh. I've seen that stamp set used in a lot of different wow. ways, and it amazes me. Yeah. Because when I saw it in the catalog, I'm like. What do I want that for? I don't know how many trees I have. But well, then I see all the cards done with it. It's wonderful. Some of them I think I'm like, I could make one thing with it. I couldn't make more than one. And then you see so many different <laughs> options Dude, with it. Are those maracas or puppy feet? No, that's, that's Spencer. <laughs> he needs a manicure as well. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's a little tap, tap, tap. He this just... was my uh, inclusion into a, the swap that we did. Um, okay, so now And they're very cute. They're very cute. Very cute, I think, is the largest one I have. Um, next we have Cheers to the Season. And these are just a couple cute ways. This one's so simple, this. and I love, I love how simple that is. Um, I gotta look for, for I insides. Love this, I love the set. I just yeah. think it's a really cool design. And this with the background. Yeah. Oh, so they cut it. them out. They cut them out. I love you know, it. Stamp twice. Cut it out. Um, I should probably put these in the back. Hold on. Rearrange how we do this. These are swap cards, Hildy. And yeah. we have them. Uh, we have photos of these on our blogs. Yes. You can go to Stamp and they, Tammy they or Crafty Stamp. Should be live them. right now. Yep. <clears throat> they should be up right yep. now. So these are... Christmas classics. I have these all alphabetical because um, I keep it by stamp set, so I know it kind of goes I with. See, it was a yeah. I just had to it play with it. It goes with one of the others, it. the Noel. I love it. Yeah, that. Now I will tell you, I always have a trick trying to cut that in my cutting. Um, do you ever ever try cutting those? Yes. That style. I'm like trying to get it diagonal in my cutter. <laughs> And I'm always off by like. I'm, yeah, it's like if it was like an a inch mil, longer. <laughs> so I'm I'm always envious of people who who successfully get that cut done. <laughs> and that is the trick I have with that. Another one. Just take a little scrap of paper as I the know. inside. I know that's a great way to use up your scraps. Yeah, I love that. Okay. All right. These. I love the sillies. So festive oh my God, fun. I absolutely love this stamp set. I'm so glad there was, I'm so glad this was in here because yeah. I was like, I'm dying to play with yeah. it. So this was mine because I was like, I didn't, I wasn't sure if anyone else would actually do this. So I just thought it was so fun and <clears throat> cool and all right, so I go, anyway. So here is, okay, fa Fragrant Forest. And that very just, simple. Right? You just have the you know little Beautiful. bit of the uh, DSP. You just made the blank space blue and the green trees. Joy and peace. Beautiful. Easy peasy. Here's another one of these ones that's kind of fun. So this is the gift of giving, and ah, oh, oh, love it. And then this is another one I did. I don't know why every once in a while I'm like, I'm going to pull out my blends for a 20 card swap and color all I know, of them. I always think, oh, that's not a big deal. It's a no great idea when you first then, start and then you're like, was I thinking? Yeah. Four hours later, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of done with blends right now. And then one of your blends runs out of Yeah, paint. there's that. <laughs> I always have a backup yeah. because I use them so often that, yeah. you know, I'm like, if anything happens, I want to make sure I've got a set. <laughs> This is another cute one, Jolly Words. And look at how oh sweet God, this one came so out. So cute. And there's that, that that folder on the background that I used on the yeah. on the little treat bags. So cute. And so the little cute. strip of Falala, -la, which is the mug. Which also matches, wait, here we go. There which you go. also matches the, the giveaway, mug. right? There you go. And then In case you were wondering, drop a comment. You could win one of those Falala. -la 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 we mugs. have and that's Joy just fun to say. of Noel. <laughs> And here are, now, look, that's just such a fun one. Love it. Different color. And then here, I actually have one. I think I 
Do you need Nancy to go get it? Yeah. Nancy, did it get in dry? I'm kidding. This was from my uh, rusted crate. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, we did that one last time. Yeah. 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 Look at this. Oh, I love it. There's, oh. Now, that is the diagonal joyful, I which might be slightly that. easier than the, the full diagonal You can get one. this one in your cutter a little easier. That's cool. I'm going to remember that for the next oh, time I, I have like to do foil. one. I like the Isn't foil. Isn't that pretty? Those. And this was also, oh, no, she has those on dimensionals. Yeah, you, so you put them on. This one, the, the double Z that I made here, I put it on um, the foam sheets. We have sheets of foam. Yep. It's just like a whole foam. And you die cut it and all then, at once. Yep, and then I embossed and die cut them. Super so, cool. I never, I would not go with this as my first color choice for I Christmas, but I absolutely love, I love it. it. I love it, love it. I'm going to give a shout out. Janice Waitman. Top notch card girl. Okay. <clears throat> we continue on through the box, thanks to Nancy. <laughs> Roll it on. Roll like, it I on. have so many and I love them at home. <laughs> Nancy died. <clears throat> inspiration to you. Straight to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Stowe, Massachusetts. <laughs> Joy to you. A lot of love coming to you, Nancy. A lot Yay! of love. <laughs> um, here's another one with the foil. Like, I love the colors. And then here's a little bit more traditional with, oh, but with the patchwork. Another great use of scraps. Like yes. Those designer scrap, designer paper scraps. And it's then embossed, um, to kind of make them all kind of quilted together. And here's another one where you just use a little bit of DSP on the inside. Same here. Super cool. Then we have Magic Meadow. I only have one. Super pretty one. But Ooh. isn't that super Ooh, simple like and it. cute? I haven't played with that set yet. I have I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah. it, I don't know, it's on my it's on my list. It's yeah. like I can only do There's so, <laughs> so many cards, just not enough time. There's, Stamp sets. Like there's still time. There's still time. It's coming. Here's the merriest trees. This is the uh, bundle that I got the tag die off of. So here's some different ones. This one just uses the stamp set, the the greeting. Oh, nothing on the inside. It's like, will it have a surprise? And we got the little oh, tree that skirt. That super cute. Love the Marius so trees. So cute. And that one. That one's cute. It's kind of little untraditional colors. And then we got the Marion Bright. That got some fun ones in here. So Marion Bright. This is when Tammy showed off a minute ago. So doo -doo. nothing on the inside. This one's fun. <clears throat> oh yeah the whole card the is the, contour, I like that the die cut yeah. and then even a little more on the inside another non-traditional color scheme with the hot pink of the melon mambo foil and then this one has the green I like that with the just the holly jolly across the another way to use this yeah scraps. yeah yeah a good way to use scraps up <clears throat> And then more, more of that coming. Yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, more wishes. So this is a fun one with just greetings. So here it is mixed with some of the paper. And then this one. Oh, love it. Kind of like how the love that so much. It's a so you Very, open it up. It, it's a it's a but then you can, it's an easel. So it kind of love that. Isn't that cool? And it's even got bling on the inside. Love it. Woo! Love it. Love it. <clears throat> Kudos. Then we got more. But wait, we told you there was a I know. Told you like there was I said, a lot. We weren't kidding. <clears throat> Night Divine. Like I said, these are in here by stamp name. Uh, oh, so, so it's just simple with so that dot in this paper. So pretty. And then Old Holy Night on the inside. And then here's another one. This is another, another easel. easel. Mm, beautiful. You know, so it's got the joint piece. I love the blue and gold. <clears throat> you know, it sits up. It's so cool. <laughs> She's got her voice back. Before I start <laughs> coughing again. Oh my God. It's like something just sat yeah. on my vocal cord. Like, <clears throat> like is now good? No. <laughs> Sending cheer. I love these. They're so fun and happy. But this is that uh, embossing folder. Then they did the deckled the, rectangles. Oh, Isn't that wow. cool? I don't think I would have mm -hmm. thought to mix those two together, but I like that a lot. And then here's another one uh, with their uh, gingerbread man and the same so embossing cute. folder. So cute. 
That, it, that, that whole sending chair is so sticky. Yeah. Too. It really is. Oh, so, someone stuck two together by mistake. My, <laughs> my organization. And then I have sparkling snowflakes. So here's one because it comes with a tag yeah, topper. Yeah, that's cool. And the cool way I to like use it. I like the colors on this one. Yeah. That's a, that's a very pretty, both of these are very and, pretty non-traditional right. cards. Very cool. And one more. <laughs> and we have stars at night. Oh, but wait, there's more. I know, yeah. <laughs> this is of my, of, of the Nancy rescue cards. <laughs> <laughs> and this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see, they cut out. Yeah. And use the negative, that which is, I never would have thought of no, to do. and that's a fantastic that's a idea. Cool. And we have this one. Ooh, Again, a little scrap kind of in the middle. Kind of cool. And I like how they, oh, this is that paper that's uh, got the middle. Yeah. I keep is forgetting that, about that. That's the um, fold. Is that the yeah. paper or the folder? I think it's both. The pa yeah, they use the, the, folder, the folder and then the paper and then mm. they rub, I don't know, rub it off. This is one I couldn't figure out where it belonged. Um, but, and I can't figure out where this Happy Holidays came from, but it is just taking squares. So it's stitched oh, squares. Smart. They're cutting them in half in different sizes and making trees. But I can't figure out where what stamp set the Wicked Happy Holidays smart. is from. But it's Wicked. more about the squares. But... Thank you, Nancy. All right, so <laughs> roll it yeah, I can on, see what else. and I guess I'm gonna go with the um, Merry and Bright next. I guess it's, let's see. I've got Merry and Bright. I've got two series I'm kicking <laughs> off today. Merry and Bright and the um, Above It All. So we'll start. I'll start with the Merry and Bright. I know I shared a couple of the Above It All. So Merry and Bright is super cute. It's the lights. Linda just shared a few of these yeah. already. And they're, they're so fun, and the dies are so fun because you've got these little, um, you know, you've got the little lights on here, and then you've got bigger bulbs because, you know, you might you want little them. twinklers, you might want big. big okay, so listen, here's a poll for you. Do you like white lights or do you like colored lights? White. white. I like white, white. too. I'm, I, I like white, white lights. <laughs> So that's a, it's one of those, it's a very controversial yeah. debate. So, you know, so white. Do women stand out better with the white? I, I, yeah, I think so. So for this one, I, um, I like those. <laughs> so the the ornaments are the I'm gonna tear this one apart. So that is the reach uh, the stargazing paper. It's the orange side of the oh. stargazing paper, and I I sponged it with the the blending brush, and then I cut a window sheet to put over it for a clear like because it's got a clear little casing over it. So fun there, and then I've got that Noel from the um, and that's the. Drawn Shimmery textured sure. paper, but you can cut it on an angle. Joy of Noel. <clears throat> so that's cool. Yep. So and then the the matching box I cut. This is the tricks back to that tricks and treats die. I yeah. can't I can't stop using it, right? I'm like I've already I've already shared five boxes from it. <laughs> and that's just from last week's series. So I cut the um, middle out of this one and made like a little frosted window out of it. Oh, and cool I used idea. that snowflake embossing folder and then just had a little cord on there. So there's just a, that gift set here. You can put lots of lots of stuff fit in here. More than more than Tootsie Pops <laughs> fit in here. You can fit all kinds of cool little things in there. Or you can make it a gift card holder or any other, just a little special something. So that's one. All I can think of with this set is that the song, you know, one goes out, they all go out. <laughs> now you're dating yourself. I know. Right? Oh, no, it's still around, though. It's still around. So uh, this is, here's another one. I did a slim line, ho ho ho, out ho, of the. Ho, ho. I used the alphabet, the H from the alphabet oh, die set, and then worked it with the the uh, the light bulbs there. So we got a little ho ho ho. Which color you know, is this? This is so the background here is um, sweet sorbet oh, and right. parakeet party, and it looks did more I, peachy. I guess on than this one, sorbet. one of them I used the um, so the. Um, the oh my god I'm drawing a blank <laughs> the ornaments blah 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 uh, I use that in color um, textured paper oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The, the textured paper on it yeah but both of these are in colors the sweet sorbet and the, the oh, parakeet party just looks so peachy that's cool okay so the next the next is Mary and the green, green kind of 
I had some it? fun here. I started, I don't know, I just started. These are cool ideas. I started cutting ornaments out, and then I just, like, went to town. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a set going on here with these. I've got a slim line, and I kind of made a little heart there. out of. I was just really having a little bit too much fun, maybe. <laughs> and then I made this, this little card here using the little uh, elegant trim on that. And um, and then I had some leftover ornaments because I just made a whole bunch of them. So I decided to make a little kind of a, a, a twist on the floating frame card. I like so that. I kind of have the ornaments around the edges and then I cut them out and put the have a Merry Christmas in the middle. Have a holly jolly. Have a holly jolly Christmas <laughs> in the middle. So a little non-traditional um, non-traditional card set there with the That's Merry cool. and Bright. And I'll start back with this for those. Did you see this? Really you were true. driving. You were driving. <laughs> I she it. was driving. I heard it. <laughs> I love it. She's listening in the car. So uh, I did share this one at the beginning. Um, I made this with the Above It All um, bundle here. So that's the uh, gondola, the gondola, and the um, the set there. 